homeowners feel that spring's the perfect time to freshen up your home and outdoor living space. But before you take on the task of refreshing your deck or adding crown molding to your dining room, get a few tips from the experts. Today, we're joined by Mark and Teresa Clement. They are DIY experts. They're gonna help us spruce up for spring today. Hey guys, what do you think is a great project to take on? Sure, well, as the weather breaks, one of my favorite spring spruce ups is to get outside on the deck in a beautifully maintained deck is a natural gathering place. And one of the ways that I like to get ready for the summer season of barbecues and outdoor dinners is to get that deck cleaned, release the natural beauty of the wood that's already there, and then seal it in when the temperatures are perfect for it. Do like a soap and water cleaning and... It depends what mess you have, uh -huh. how you clean it up. It's like anything. Uh -huh. So if you've got mold, algae, mildew, that kind of thing, which might not be a big deal where you are in Amarillo, Texas, <laughs> <No>. <laughs> but sure is where we live, um, for dirt and those kinds of stains, grease from the grill, use the right detergent, do a little okay. test spot, that'll get it taken care of for you. Okay. And if you're not sure, go to woodnaturally.com and there'll be lots of information about, you know, which kind of cleaner to use for your deck. Okay, makes total sense. You don't want to ruin something. Okay, so what about some examples of some in-home projects that we can kind of do this spring? Well, inside your home, the biggest DIY bang for your buck is crown molding. And there aren't that many projects that you can do that are going to transform your, transform your space as immediately as adding crown molding. And think about it. When you've gone to a friend's house and they have crown molding in their living room or their dining room, you think upscale, you think fancy. And don't you want all of your friends and family to think that about you, too? Well, of course, obviously. So it does really add a lot of value to your home? It does add a lot of value. And, you know, and also with crown molding, you can do, use all different kinds of profiles. You can do a large crown molding. You can also do all kinds of different wood species and finish it, you know, clear coat it all the way to staining it different colors. I feel like that sounds like a really complicated project to take on myself, though. Well, it really isn't that hard of a project. Because, you know, you can do it the traditional way, which is what we like to do is we like to cope our crown. But if you're not sure about that and you, you know, want to just do a straight cut, you can use corner blocks. And corner blocks you can find at home improvement stores. And they add actually a lot of style, individual kind of look to your house. And you don't have to worry about the upside down backwards that you might have heard about crown molding. Yeah, yeah. Well, very good. Okay, so it is something we can totally do. Okay, what other kind of trends are you seeing this spring that we should really think about doing? Well, another thing you can do that is easy and fun and can individualize an interior space is to add wainscoting. You could do tongue and groove on a vertical and go right around the room. It could be a bathroom. It could be a, what I call a gathering room, like a living room or a dining room. And outside, you can do all kinds of different projects. One of my favorites, of course, is a deck. Natural gathering place, super fun DIY project, and there is no question you will immediately use it. The last screw you put in, you're out there already going to barbecue. All right, well, very cool. Where can we get some more information from you guys? Those are beautiful decks, by the way, wow. <laughs> you wanna jump on to woodnaturally.com. You might even see a video with me in it and you'll find out all you need to know to get inspired and get your DIY going. All right, well, thanks for talking with us today. Happy DIY springtime, you guys. Thank you. Happy DIY spring to you, too. <laughs>